So today I'm going to walk you through how to understand whether something is a sign, an omen, or a synchronicity so that you can start to understand how the universe is speaking to you. Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Lior Alexandra. Welcome to the Baby Elephant community. On this channel we talk about the law of attraction, spirituality, self-development, and so much more. And today we're going to be talking about synchronicities, signs, omens. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm always posting on my story whenever I see something that is a very loud and clear sign, a very obvious sign to me from my guides from the universe. And today I want to break down how to understand whether something is a sign or not because I get that question all the time. How do I know if this is actually a sign? What are signs and synchronicities? What are omens? So I'm going to explain to you how to know whether something is a sign or not and how they actually work and how to ask for them. The universe and all its metaphysical inhabitants are always in constant communication with us. The real issue is that most of us are just not paying attention to that communication. And when we finally do notice it, we always doubt it. Like, oh, is that really a sign or is it a coincidence? Our thoughts creep in and our doubts and our ego says to us, no, it's just a, it's a coincidence. It can't be a sign. It doesn't mean anything. Well, the first thing we have to recognize is that everything is meaningful. You can't understand signs, synchronicities, and omens until you fully comprehend the fact that everything is meaningful. We live in this world, in this reality, where the fabric, the tapestry, tapestry? I know I say this wrong all the time. The tapestry of humanity, every single person, every single thing, event, a situation, animal, whatever it is, is connected to another thing. A person on the other side of the globe affects our reality here. We are all connected. There are no such things as coincidences in this world. So running into your fifth grade crush or hearing a repeating song or a message or seeing a repeating number, all those things are meaningful. They mean something. You must completely let go of the notion that something could possibly be unintentional or without meaning. That is doubt that comes to us from a very uh, physical, human, ego-minded perspective. In actuality, everything is connected through a unified field of oneness. And we've heard about this in several ways in our lifetime, from the butterfly effect or, you know, that saying that everything happens for a reason. Yet the majority of us don't actually live in accordance with this truth. So to understand signs, omens, and synchronicities, the first step is to understand the connection of all people, events, things, everything is connected. So rather than questioning whether something is a sign or not, when you see it and that thought arises, that's usually an indication that yes, this is a sign. You notice something and it seems like it might be a sign to you, that means yes, it is a sign. Don't doubt it. It is meaningful, it is intentional, it is on purpose. That is how this reality works. There are patterns, there's connection in every single thing. The mere thought of asking yourself whether something is a sign or not is an indication that it is definitely a sign. Now, three types of signs. What are these concepts? Signs, omens, and synchronicities are all deeply connected and they could be seen as interchangeable, but I see that there is a subtle difference between them. So I see signs as things that are strong messages. You know, a feather on the floor could be a sign. To me, signs are very obvious. For example, a billboard with a sign that says look down and then you look down and you see somebody or you see a store that you've been thinking about and then you go and apply to the store and then you start working at the store and then you meet the love of your life in this store and that's what I see signs are. Very obvious directions from the universe. Um, maybe a sign that says breathe or something that pops out on you in a song or a message that says relax, let go, something like that. Anything in that, in that sense that really pops out, that really stands out to you. Maybe a YouTube video pops up for something that you were just thinking about and that you just needed. Now what the sign means is very individual to you as it is for omens and synchronicities as well. I'll talk about what it could mean to you in a little bit. So omens are often things that come to us metaphorically as signposts. For example, bad or good weather, natural events, shapes of clouds, encounters with certain animals again and again. For example, I kept seeing crows and you're supposed to count how many times you see a crow in a specific event or you know situation to understand what it means. So I kept seeing crows the other day, I saw three crows. Now 
I looked it up online, which is what my guides knew I would do. And the, seeing one crow is supposed to be a bad omen. Seeing two crows is a good one and three crows is, is uh, good health or something like that. So that's an omen, seeing an animal repeated. Omens have a bad rep because they're seen as these negative signs, but that's, that's intentional. That's over time we've been taught that they're bad because people want us to be afraid of the signs from the universe. You know, there are people who benefit from us not listening to this communication from the earth and from the universe, or at least being super afraid of it. But the truth is that omens don't necessarily have to be bad things. They could be really good things. Even bad weather doesn't necessarily have to mean that it, something bad is going to happen. Bad weather could mean, well, you know, today is a day for rest for you. Take on what you are going to do today, tomorrow. Things like that. And it's all, again, very individual to you to understand what an omen might mean. Omens are super powerful ways for the universe and the earth to communicate with us. So when magic was taken away from mainstream society, things such as omens were made dark and ominous. They're not dark, they're just another type of signpost. Now synchronicities, repeated numbers, repeated experiences, hearing a specific message in a song, running into somebody that you've been thinking about. For example, I kept seeing the repeating number, other than angel numbers, I always see angel numbers like 666, 333, 222, 111, 777, 888, 99, okay, obviously, all of them, I see all of them repeated. Lately, I've been seeing 221 repeated. I had a weird, scared feeling that 221 might be a negative thing, might be like a warning sign, because it was just off of 222, and 222 always felt so angelic to me. So I wanted to ask the universe, what does 221 mean? So the 221 was a synchronicity in itself, but then one day I asked out loud, I said, universe, please tell me whether 221 is it a negative sign or not. The next split second, I hear Selena Gomez in an interview I was listening to right away, right as I said that out loud, I was in my car and saying that, listening to her interview, and she said, no, not at all, immediately. That's a synchronicity, that means something. Now, of course, if we're to look at this universe as being, you know, accidental and coincidental, then we're not going to look at that as an answer. But it, it goes to show again and again and again that we're just ignoring these signs. The earth and the universe and our guys and our team of light is always communicating with us. So how does the universe send us these signs, synchronicities and omens? It's really important to grasp how this works because the mind always wants to rationalize everything. For example, you might ask the universe to show you grapes as a sign. You walk into work later that day and you go into the break room and you see a huge basket of grapes. Now your rational mind might think, well, somebody decided earlier today to buy grapes and to put them here. So you might think it can't be a coincidence because I just asked for this sign right now and somebody clearly put these here hours ago. That's not how it works. That is how to think in a very physical 3D rational way. You know, this we see it so it's here. You have to understand that our team of light, the universe, the earth, all this stuff does not play by the same rules that we play. You might ask for a sign and see something that was planned weeks ago right in front of you. It's still a sign because the universe is not bound by time and space. Things can happen that were rationally in the linear order planned ahead of time, but they're there now because you asked for them to be. It's just like how I was talking in the video about free will and destiny. Because we think linearly, straight, and we can only go forward, there's only the future, we can't go back in time, and there's only the present and the future, right? And we can't even access the future, we can just plan for it. The universe isn't bound by those constrictions like we are. These non-physical beings are not playing by the same rules that we are. So they can make things happen that in our timeline should have happened a long time ago and been planned a long time ago, but because you asked for them today, they show up today. I hope that makes sense. Time doesn't exist linearly out of the filtering human mind. Once we know that everything can be, you know, benevolently, I can't speak, manipulated and created by the forces of the universe, 
we can stop doubting whether these signs are meant for us or not. We can see that bowl of grapes and be like, oh, there's my sign. And not think with a rational human mind that's very limited, that's very constrained to the, he the here and now, and doesn't see the bigger picture. Now let's talk about how to receive signs. The number one thing that you have to do is to cultivate the desire to receive them. So I live my life through signs and synchronicities, so I'm constantly experiencing them because I expect them. If you don't consciously expect to receive signs and synchronicities and omens, then you might not be receiving them or you at least aren't seeing them. What I want you to do is to take a moment, a meaningful beat in your day. When you ask for a sign or synchronicity, be very intentional about it. Close your eyes and think about what exactly it is that you want to see and why you want to see it. And then have the belief and the knowing and the faith that that sign is going to come to you one way or another. You can close your eyes, take a deep breath, and say something like, Universe, please show me a sign that you are listening. That's a really good way to start. You can also ask for specific signs, like seeing an animal, a word, or hearing a specific song. I know that a lot of people ask for a sign about whether their manifestation is coming or not. So let me be the sign for you right now. Yes. It's coming. There's your answer. <laughs> our manifestations are always coming for us. We are the only ones that are holding back our receiving. But if you do need a sign, then ask for it because that's a really good way to play with the benevolent forces of the universe and to start that communication with them. They're waiting to play with you and to communicate with you. The benevolent, compassionate, helping spirits want to talk to you. Expect to receive the response. Don't worry so much about the where, when, or how. It'll surprise you usually. So for me these days, it usually takes about 10 minutes to receive a sign when I ask for it. Sometimes a lot less. Sometimes it takes longer. Like I asked for tulips the other day and it took about two weeks to get the exact sign that I was looking for. But it happened and I was aware enough to recognize, oh, there's my sign. You must be present and mindful. Most people are having a one-sided conversation with the universe because they're just simply not noticing the other side of the conversation. They're not listening, they're not looking. We live in our minds thinking about the past or worrying about the future and we forget that within the present moment is all our manifestations, is all the signs that we've been asking for. It's right here, right now, here and now. Without accessing the present moment, we won't be able to see or hear the signs. So how to understand your signs? A lot of people ask me, how can I understand the sign once I get it? On one hand, I want to tell you, don't look it up. Go within yourself. Sit down in meditation and get that answer yourself. Or maybe open a random book and be like, this is what's going to be the answer to my sign. Put your finger there and you'll get the answer. However, on the other hand, the universe and your guides, they know exactly what you are going to do in order to get the explanation for that sign. So if you were planning on going to Google it, they already knew that you're going to Google it. They knew that you're going to Google it and then you should do that because the answer will lie there, if that makes sense. They already know exactly what you're going to do and what's going to be best for you to get the answer. So I want to advise you to do exactly what you need to do in order to understand what your sign is. Now, I can't sit here and say, a feather means this, this means that, this means that, running into this person means that because it's just so individual. Your situation is different from everybody else's. And yes, we're connected and yes, there are patterns and some people do identify these patterns, but the thing is, if that pattern is what this sign means to you, if you go within yourself, you can access the collective unconsciousness through meditation and get that answer without looking anything up. I've created a code for myself with the universe and with my team of light. So I know what 222 means for me. I know what 666 means for me. Some people think that 666 is a negative thing. I might even get demonetized just for saying that. But for me, it means that the angels are listening. So, you know, you either tap into your own answers or you look it up online. Whatever it is that feels right to you, you do that and you can get the answer for it. I want you to comment below what sign the universe has been sending you. If you watch this video and then you go out into the day and you receive a sign clearly, come and comment and tell me what you think that sign means for you. This will encourage signs and synchronicities and omens to come to all the people who comment because we're putting out a signal to the universe that's saying, 
I'm interested in getting signs. I'm interested in our communication. I'm interested in getting to know the language of the universe better. And that language is going to be different for each person. So comment below what sign you've been getting and what you think it might mean. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and until next time, keep your vibrations way, way, way up. Bye.